Hey guys, what up? It's your boy Eclipse from Team Ruthless back with another Damon X Machina video. Um, this one's gonna be a follow up to the state of the PvP, and I will be talking more about. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the PVE or PvP, but more PVE aspect this time. Um, I wanted to make this video soon after my PvP video, but I didn't really have the time. I um, left the uh, left my state for travel. Uh, to see my family and uh, just got I got back about a week ago but you guys don't need to know all that <laughs> anyways so to get started I wanted to say PvP patch 1.1.2 has been great I really have no real huge comp complaints um, I hope they do a little bit more fine-tuning with some of the uh, uh, buffs and nerfs but for the most part, I have been having a lot of fun. A lot more weapons are viable. Lasers might be too good right now, but I'll take it. Um, devotion being banned from ranked matches is the best thing they could have. I mean, I think it was the easiest and fastest way to fix the problem. And to be honest, I have no complaints for um, them taking it out. I know some people said they would rather it be in a game and just be like nerfed or whatever but uh, honestly people are actually dying in matches now i think it's great <laughs> matches aren't going to time as much and if it's going to time it's literally um to the to the tooth and nail like people are barely surviving if it goes to time my myself included um i'm having a lot of fun and i honestly i might be doing worse ever since <laughs> um the ban of devotion but uh more or less like i feel like i get more losses but i feel like i don't know my ranking is going up too so what do i know anyways but yeah that's all i want to say about the pvp aspect um and this is not to go off topic but y'all know pokemon is dropping this week i think i think it drops friday if i believe um even though i'm a switch user i probably will not get it um I think I'm at to the point where I might have outgrown Pokemon. <laughs> not uh, knocking anyone who's getting it. I'm 27. I'm not, you know, in my 30s, 40s. I'm just saying I'm probably not gonna get it. I think I'm kind of over that series. I'm um, RPGs are kind of hard for me to get into now, especially with time, um, the lack of time I have for games and the lack of patience I tend to have nowadays. Um, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoy it, Pokemon. But I brought it up because. Shout out to the Team Ruthless Discord. Um, y'all know who y'all is. If y'all even watch my videos. My, yo, Team Ruthless is trash, yo. Don't join it. Anyways. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, a lot, you know, a lot of people have been complaining about the Pokemon game. And, I mean, I'm going to be real. Like, to me, even though I already said, like, I'm not probably, I'll probably want to got it regardless. There, <sighs> How can I say all right, so I'm gonna compare Pokemon fans to me being a fan of Damon X Machina. I love Damon X Machina. Like, I think it's one of the dopest game I've played all year. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, but I feel like I would be a liar to everyone who watches my channel and a, to myself if I would tell you this game did not have its flaws. If I I would be lying to you to say that I thought this game was going to be perfect before launch. Um, and I could obviously tell there were going to be some flaws. And I obviously thought this game was going to be not supported as well as it is. Thankfully, the devs are supporting this game pretty pretty solid so far. Um, not amazing. I, I feel like the PvP update took a little too long. But again, I'll take it because... It did bring life back into the game. But again, I feel like I'd be a liar to tell you the game did not have its problems. And um, going to bring it back up Pokemon, um, I think it's cool that the fans, there are fans out there who are going to ride or die for Pokemon. And I think that's dope. I think that's really cool that people, you know, love a, a series so much, especially Pokemon. It's been uh, around like, what, 20 plus years? I think now, shoot, 
Makes me feel old when I think about it. But yeah, 20 plus years, I think. And again, it's really dope. But I think, I think you guys, what, there's one thing now that I'm a little bit older that I'll never do. And that's me knocking somebody for buying a certain game. Now that I, I, I am where I am, I realize that games, and there, there always been more to me, but games are more to other people as well. Like, games could be a way to connect with a, a friend that you don't get to spend time with, or a family member you don't get to see it as much. Um, you know, as we get older, we kind of drift apart from our friends and family. Um, a video game could be you know your hobby your passion you can love it it's it's a sense of escape um so i get it i get sometimes no matter what these companies do no matter what the game looks like that sometimes there's more involved in terms of you wanting to you know, play just play a video game. There's just more involved than you just, you know, going to the store, paying sixty dollars for a game, you know, and, and just playing through it. There's more involved. There's a, a sense of friendship, community, um, escape from the real world because you know how crazy this place could be. So I get it. So I'll never knock anybody for you know, buying a game they love or supporting a series they love. But what I what I will say is that I don't think you should flat out argue against people when they're pointing out obvious and obvious flaws and laziness with devs in in video games. Now I'm not I haven't been following Pokemon like that. I've seen the complaints like everybody else has. Um the stupidest thing I think so far is my biggest complaint with Pokemon was the Pokebank. I feel like when the Pokebank got first announced, it made they made it sound like it was gonna be a um from here on out the Pokebank was gonna be able to connect to all future Pokemon games. That wasn't the case. That might have been my fault, might have been something I misunderstood. Again, I haven't really played Pokemon that heavy since uh, the last Pokemon game I beat is Emerald. The last one I played heavy is Silver. So, yeah. Um, I played Sun and Moon. Actually, no, X and Y. X and Y that I played, I beat. Sun and Moon, I didn't fuck with. I played it, but I didn't beat it. And that's, I think, Sun and Moon was like, well, I'm probably done with Pokemon. But, yeah. Um, and what else? Fuck, where was I going with this? See, this is why, guys, I need to do a script like the guy on my comment of uh, YouTube said, so I can stop rambling. But yeah, um, it's just. Oh, the other thing I had a problem with is I guess you can't catch Pokemon at a higher level than you or something. I don't know if it's like certain areas you'll find certain Pokemon that are super high leveled and you can't catch them for some reason. I think that's very stupid. But whatever. Again, it's Pokemon is for kids. It's for a casual crowd. The game's gonna sell, and I hope people enjoy it for what it's worth. I think honestly, if I think if I did buy it, I think I would enjoy it for what it's worth. I think I'd probably spend it, still be able to put 20, 30 hours in it, easy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just don't think I'd play it like it'd be one of those games where I play for a little bit, have my little fun. And just drop it. Whereas Damon X Machina, I've done put how many hours in this game? 85 hours, <laughs> which is a lot for me. I, a lot of my friends have like 100 plus hours in this game, but for that's a lot for me. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I'm again, I'm never gonna knock anybody for for buying a game, but I also don't think people should blindly defend laziness. And a lack of effort in your video games. Because at the end of the day, I think we all want our games to be better. And yeah, again, I, I'm not saying you shouldn't buy the game. But don't blindly defend it. I think that makes you look silly to say the, <laughs> to be nice about it. 
All right, so back to Damon X Machina. Sorry for, for the rant, too, guys. I know you guys are always, um, I know some of you guys hate it, some of you guys love it. Um, I don't really go for a script because I try to talk how I feel. I want to be authentic as possible in my videos, even my video gaming videos. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so state of PVE, Damon X Machina. And again, I wanted to make this video sooner for the. Um, to follow up on my PvP video, but the PvE in this game to me lacks way more than the PvP, and that's saying a lot. Um, the PvE, in my opinion, the story mode was really easy, in my opinion. The last boss was kind of hard, again, in a, but I beat him without using those canisters you can throw at, throw at him, <laughs> and I also used them without using devotion, so I think that's just a lot. But PvE was really easy, in my opinion. Um, I think it was, uh, the customization in PvE was really great, same as the PvP, of course, but the game's too easy. The multiplayer missions, I th were hoping were going to be harder, those are also way too easy. Um, farming, I don't have a problem with farming, even though I'm, I'm lazy and I don't do it. I don't have a problem with how it's done, but I do wish there were, like, a hard mode that, like, increased the chances of loot. Of loot dropping or certain loot droppings or certain mod droppings um, just to up the ante and give people a reason to keep playing because some of these missions are way too easy also uh, a big complaint of mine for the PvE and this goes this kind of ties into PvP too um, this whole the story was kind of whack but the whole story was kind of like about these different teams and how they interact with each other and in their stories and they kind of led the story kind of led you on to like thinking maybe you're gonna be able to create a team. Why couldn't we create a team for for other our friends online and stuff? That would have been so cool if there was a like a team system for the game or a clan system. Whereas you can have like a clan rank for your PvP and even like a clan rank or bonuses for PVE. Like if you guys reach a certain amount of um runs or something for pve you guys gonna unlock like loot drop bonuses or damage increase kind of like the ice cream shop um the ice cream shop too i wish there was a little bit more to it um the body modifications i wish there was an easier way to you know save different loadout sets so because i want to make a i want to do like a strict pv uh melee build but i don't i feel like the best way to do it would to be reset all my bottom modification and get all the melee upgrades but i am too I, I can afford it in the game of course but i'm too lazy to freaking reset the body modifications and buy all the stuff again like i don't want to do that there should be a I, I, i'd be okay if people had to buy it twice or whatever but there should be an easier way to do it like so you can switch back and forth just like your mech like you can save mech loadouts like why can't you save body mod modification loadouts um i think that would have been cool um, there needs to be more than the kind of modes there are too. Like the story should have been co-op, at least two players co-op, um, or at least the boss fights in the story should have been co-op or something. Like um, I don't think Armored Core did it where the mo the the story mode was two players co-op, but when you fought the big bosses, those were like four players co-op or more. I think Armored Core V. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Um, and then there, there needs to be some more kind of multiplayer modes. There needs to be like a survival type mode, um, or horde type mode the where they send countless strays and enemy arsenals at you. Um, I feel like all the, um, NPCs arsenals, they all should have been on Solomon's level or at least Solomon's level. Solomon is probably the hardest most annoying arsenal to take down all the other ones are kind of cake um other than that yeah pve just needs a challenge you know i think um they kind of went with the whole like loot looting from like monster hunter games aspect in the pve and the thing that monster hunter does very well about this is even with the the, even though you're fighting the same monsters pretty much the whole game, they constantly throw them at you stronger, faster, and they hit harder. 
So it would have been cool if the bosses were most of the bosses in this game are just way too easy, dude. <laughs> especially with daily drive. <laughs> especially with how somebody especially after these um weapon updates. Like, seriously. Um they really need to do something about amping up the PvE content. Um because PvE could be a lot of fun, but as it is right now, I, I find myself getting bored with it really quickly and I feel like most of the community is complaining about it too. Um, but yes, PVE just needs a massive, I want to, I want to say massive, but it needs a, also needs a rework, <laughs> just a little bit more added flavor, you know, to the game. Cause you can only do those missions so much, so long, like, or there should be more missions where you can farm certain parts. Like you're literally doing the same exact mission over and over again, just to farm one. You're fighting five different arsenals just for, to get to one so he drops that gun or whatever it's kind of dumb <laughs> it's kind of dumb and it's easy so it takes you like no time so that's my biggest plank about um pve and um i i feel like most of the community agrees but yeah hopefully they add some more modes with the constant of the updates i know we're supposed to get an update this month i believe um hopefully the events are pretty fun um, I was right about the updates bringing in community. There was just a patch um, for the PvP, and it brought a lot of um, brought a lot of people back to PvP. So if that can do that, um, I hopefully the PVE, if they're decent with content, they can bring some more players back into the game. Because I know a lot of people don't care about PvP. So hopefully they add some decent content, some dope collabs. And I'm really hoping to see a Master Sword that shoots blade beams. <laughs> or, or Xenoverse collab. I think, not Xenoverse. What's that game? Xeno, not Xeno Gears, is it? I can't think of that game, bro. Y'all know the game I'm talking about. The freaking... Oh, I can't think of the name of it. I'm terrible. I'm, a, I'm a terrible. The game Shulk's from. I'm a Tri's Nintendo fan right now. Anyways. But yeah. Um, well, I'm out. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think and what they should add to the PvE of this game. It definitely needs work. Um, it's a lot. It, I had fun with it for a little bit, but the PvE it needs way more attention, I think. Um, this game... I'm hoping this is not the only Damon X Machina game we get. I'm hoping later, a couple years later, we get another sequel. And hopefully they listen to what a lot of us fans think. And they add some more more oomph to the game to say the least um this game to me is a solid piece of work like it, it it has very good i think the customization could be oh you know what also would be cool is when they update the boss if they did harder bosses the bosses would drop um different variation of their weapons because there's only a couple variation uh, only a, a very select few weapons um, that the bosses drop have variations. It'd be cool if more weapons had those variations. Like another, um, was it Guilty Heart? Another version of that assault rifle. Uh, another res version of the gravity gun. Um, but yeah, another version of the Dominion. Is it called the Dominions? I don't even remember those things called the Blitz weapons. But yeah, that'd be cool. But yeah, you guys tell me what you guys think about the PvE. Tell me what you guys think of my video. I know I ramble a lot, but again, I'm working on it. I'm gonna be, I'm trying to be as authentic as possible, and I do plan on having content that's f better scripted, prob again, but probably just not for this game. Uh, Damon X Machina videos, I like to do them as I play, or have the game on or whatever. So I don't plan on ever having a script for these videos. If you guys think I should change that. Let me know, I guess, even though I probably won't change my mind. <laughs> but maybe for future games. <laughs> um, also thinking about getting back into Smash Bros. So I might start dropping those videos soon. Um, once I get to it. But yeah, you guys take it easy. Be safe. Deuces. Oh, I'm so trash. Come here.
Yeah. Oh, I forgot you can watch me for this game. 